the message that I am trying to get across on this new album is um, is really ultimately that that we, we can't go backwards. That um, what happens to us belongs to us, uh, for better or for worse. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of pain in it for me. Um, there's there's a lot of sort of events that have occurred in my life that I ended up writing about and, and putting into this album. But for me, I'm a re I'm I'm really happy, um, and I'm and I'm really actually grateful for having gone through some of those things. Um, so I think if somebody is listening to this record and they're going through a tough time in their life, I want them to feel like they're not alone. And um, and and also that it's going to be okay. Um, uh, I certainly think that um, celebrating our scars um, and celebrating the our hardships, our insecurities, our vulnerabilities, um, they ultimately make make us beautiful. Um, and uh, I want people to sort of re remember that and celebrate. Well, um, it, it was a pretty eclectic one. I um, I was touring a lot of this of this past year, but I wrote a hundred songs in preparation for if I could change one thing. And so I was writing all the time. Um, I was writing on my own when I had time off. I was writing in hotel rooms. Um, I did a lot of co-writes, um, and and really I, I wrote with people that I respected and people that I enjoyed spending time with. Um, I, I wrote almost half this album with one of my good friends, Steve Seskin. Um, Steve's an incredible songwriter. He's written for. Um, Tim McGraw, he's, uh, he, wrote, he wrote Don't Laugh At Me for Peter, Paul, and Mary. Um, I also wrote a song with Trent Dabbs, who wrote uh, um, Girls Chase Boys for Ingrid Michaelson. And uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a real kind of collaboration. I, I really reached into my community of friends and colleagues that I, I love and respect and admire and, and said, you know, I'm making a record. Uh, let's show up in a room, and I'm just gonna talk about what's on my heart. And um, most of the time, we would get a song, and some of the times, they would they they would be good songs. It's a great question. Um, I do remember my first performance, um, and to tell you the truth, not a whole lot has changed since then. When I'm performing, it's one of the few places in my life where I'm not thinking. There's just, there's no, there's, there's, there's no noise. It's just, it's clear, and and I'm, I'm totally engulfed in, in my music, and I'm also um, really conscious of the audience and and how to take care of them, and, and also in turn how they take care of me. Um, I, I just, I, I love it. I love it so much. And um, performing for me when it's great is is when I'm not thinking. Um, that hasn't changed since I since I started performing. I'm going out with a three piece this time. Uh, my friend Joe Nerny, who plays saxophone and sings, and uh, we've added an incredible bass player and just an incredible person who's also singing. Uh, Mark Seedorf is his name, so it's three part harmonies, um, and it's a whole lot of sound for three people. And we're just having so much fun making music together. Uh, so I'll be out on the road, and then um, we're going to be doing a bunch of summer uh, festival dates. And, uh, and, and sort of just try to do our part to make sure as many people hear this new album as possible. Love was never meant to leave us.